Um, for me, it's been it's been fantastic uh, being from the, the Australian government. It's starting to hear some of what's happening out there in the industry already, and there's a lot of work being done by uh, a number of ports, in particular in the sustainability criteria. So hearing that from you know, the government perspective is you know, a fantastic sort of thing. And it's been really clear, uh, I've heard it in a number of other fora, that partnerships, collaboration are really key, and it's being reaffirmed here, uh, which is one of the reasons I think it's great that the um, uh, Green Ports Conference has made it into the Southern Hemisphere um, and you know, working on shipping, which is an extremely important um, transport mode for Australia, being an island nation. Um, it's a bit hard to pick a topic. I was really interested in this morning's session, which has been on the financing side of it. Again, an area that as a government uh, representative, we're less aware of. It's, you know, quite often we talk in these sorts of fora with, you know, the industry people here, and they're talking about what they're doing and the technology barriers and possibly what role for government. Um, but of course, the whole value chain uh, requires that the financial side of it, the investment, the investment criteria, and what I heard this morning was, you know, probably one of the main reasons I was um, looking forward to today is hearing more about in that space. Um, I'm not an economist. I, I learned quite a lot of things this morning about things I didn't even know existed. Um, and again, it comes down to that question that we're always asking ourselves, what role for the government particularly when there's already a finance market setting itself up. So I guess in, that was probably a large part of it. It's a different part of that whole value chain that we need to be looking at. I think we've heard actually quite a few of those over the last uh, day and a half. Um, and to me, they're ringing true from a, a, you know, the shipping sort of fora that I attend, including the International Maritime Organization, these challenges are going to be the level playing field, the first mover risk um, for making these transitions. Um, and again, that comes to where the sustainable criteria within your financing helps reduce some of that. So from my appreciation, I think overcoming that first mover risk to accelerate the technology um, but of course, that has a commercial, um, you know, pitfalls or you know, a company that's looking at how they're going to be sustainable economically uh, needs to be able to manage that. So for me, um, I'm really becoming solid on the idea that it's overcoming that first mover risk um, to get the momentum to get that change happening. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, I, what they've done here at the Port of Newcastle has been great to see. It's a great exemplar port. Um, seeing all the other examples around, it's very encouraging. It just leads to that same question, how do we overcome that first mover risk to accelerate the uptake of you know, the technologies and the decarbonisation?